Assalamu alaikum. Kumusta po? Um, alhamdulillah, nasa second part na po tayo ng series of lectures for February. Alhamdulillah po, natuloy na yung uh, uh, live lecture po natin. Uh, this was supposed to be last um, Sunday. So, alhamdulillah, we were able to reschedule po. And um, I hope uh, you're, you're able to um, tune in uh, sa bagong oras uh, at schedule po natin. So, today, yung um, topic natin is about ang isang ulirang muslima. Now, of course, sa title pa lang medyo uh, intimidating, especially, especially sa ating mga kababaihan, kasi it's talking about the ideal, yung um, hindi naman sa perfection, pero yung close to it, no? Kung ano yung karapat dapat na gawin at uh, paano ang isang muslima sa... Uh, sa pananaw ng ng Quran, Sunna at uh, Islam in general. So yung um, lecture po natin ngayon, it's actually based on a book. So parang magiging introductory uh, uh, lesson po siya sa sa book na ito. So a bit of a concise summary. Ano yung matutunan natin kung babasahin po natin ang book and what can we we get from it na pwede nating i-apply in our lives, inshallah. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we'll start, inshallah. So, ang salitang muslima ay tumutukoy sa isang babae na uh, who follows the religion of Islam. So, kung kayo po ay isang lalaki, kayo ay isang muslim. Kung kayo po ay isang babae, kayo po ay isang muslima. So, ang Islam is a way of life. Hindi lang po siya isang relihiyon, hindi lang po siya isang grupo, ngunit ang Islam ay guidance to all of mankind, both men, women, young, old, uh, married, not married, um, working, not working, every single person ay sakop ng rules, guidance, and revelation ng Islam. So, bilang isang Muslima, may mga uh, suggestions, may mga uh, recommendations ang ating um, relihiyon on how to live our life the best way para ma makamit natin ang peace of mind, peace of heart, balanced ang, ang mental health natin, ang uh, physical natin. So, every single facet of life covered ng Islam. So, inshallah today, we're going to talk about specifically sa mga kababaihan. Dahil this month, ang theme po ng New Muslim Academy Philippines is talk about yung mga issues related to women, mga muslimat. So, ang first that we will talk about Apat, okay? Yung first is the Muslim women of by herself. Meaning, anything related to um, being a Muslimah, our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our relationship with ourselves, and how we conduct ourselves in um, our life. And then second that we'll talk about ay yung uh, relationship ng isang Muslimah kung siya ay isang parte ng isang pamilya. Okay? So, bilang isang sister, bilang isang uh, brother, bilang isang mother, wife, uh, iba't ibang roles and responsibilities that come with it. Ang third naman ay ang muslima with her, in her marriage specifically. So, We'll talk about ano yung mga rights and responsibilities bilang isang muslima, ano ang dapat uh, yung parang outlook natin towards marriage, and how can we protect our relationship, how can we be a good uh, nurturer and protector of our home life, and finally, a muslima in the society, how to be a productive member of society, according to our skills, our abilities, our passions, and our dreams, inshallah. 
So first, let's talk about Muslima with her relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So of course, we all have our levels no? of iman. May mga, some days, medyo malakas. We can read more Quran. We can fast more often. We can speak more good things. Um, other days, siguro medyo mababa. So um, we commit sins. We talk about someone behind their back. We disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in small or big things. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows truly ano yung dinadaanan ng bawat isa sa atin. So, yung first that we have to talk about is how do we strengthen our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? More than any relationship that we are in right now, dear sister, ang pinaka-importante na bigyan natin ng, ng time, ng effort, ng investment, ng pansin, is our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Gaano katibay ang pananampalataya natin? Gaano ka dami ang knowledge natin with who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is? What Islam is? And yan ang isa sa pinaka-importanteng um, priority. Okay? Nabibigyan natin diin as muslima. Bakit? Dahil so long as hindi natin alam ano ang purpose ng ating buhay. So long as hindi natin kilala kung sino si Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So long as hindi natin alam kung ano ang gabay ng Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa at ang kanyang mga asawa, ang ating mga umahatul mu'minin, ang ating mga mothers of the believers bilang um, role models natin. Then more risk na mawawala tayo sa guidance. Dahil ang beauty of Islam is in its um, Quran wherein Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pinadating niya lahat ng mga ikabubuti sa atin na halal at inexplain niya din sa atin ano ang kailangan natin i-avoid na mga haram. Dahil kung, kung gagawin natin ang ika yung ikabubuti sa ating ang, ang uh, what will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we will live a good life a happy life one that's free from guilt one that's free from from uh, parang uh, doing harm to others we will live a life of peace but that doesn't mean na wala ng challenges. Okay? There's a difference. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that this life was meant to test each and every one of us. Who amongst us is best in deeds? Nasa surah al-mulk. So, there's a difference between strong ang foundation natin. Alam natin na ang bawat pagsusubok ay pinadala sa atin ng Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knowing na si Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ay isang just na Diyos. He will never burden us with something that we cannot handle. And lahat ng difficulty ay bibigyan niya ng solution. Bibigyan niya ng ease. There will always be ease after every difficulty. And he promised it twice. So we are able to live our life in a much better state. Kesa sa we're hopeless. We don't know who Allah is. Hindi natin alam. Ano nang gawin ko? Uh, we cannot be patient, no? And we we don't know who to turn to for advice. So, napaka-importante na bilang isang Muslim ay yung relationship natin with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ay strong. A Muslim with a strong relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can build strong and solid relationships with anyone in dunya. And hopefully in akhirah. So first, we start with strengthening our five daily prayers. So ito, uh, the, Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said na ang, uh, sa isang hadith qudsi na uh, a slave or a servant, this applies to men and women, gets closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the obligatory deeds. So alam naman natin ang five pillars of Islam. Uh, first is the testimony of faith, followed by salah, yung pag, 
uh, dadasal ng five daily prayers, yung fasting in Ramadan, ang hajj when we are able to, and yung zakah, yung charity when we are actually qualified. So yun ang mga foremost obligatory things that we have to take care of. So, and we get closer and closer to Him kung we fulfill the obligations plus kaya natin gawin ang some of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed through the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam sunnah na ikabubuti sa atin at ikagagalak niya. So, like uh, if we add on our prayers with the sunnah prayers, with the sunnah fasting, and then we try our best na yung yung akhlaq natin, ang manners natin ay tulad ng Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam dahil really sisters, brothers, kung mahal talaga natin ang isang tao, we will obey him, we will follow him, we will even emulate him. So kung really ma- ma- mahal natin ang Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mahal natin ang Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have to know them and we have to follow what they prescribe for us. So kung kaya natin i-follow ang sunna niya, like for example, ang sabi ng Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sabi niya ang smile, smile lang, that's already sadaqah, it's charity. Walang mawawala sa'yo. Uh, masi-stretch pa ang muscles mo sa face mo that will prevent wrinkles at the same time you will make someone happy so find ways being a muslima to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen that relationship with him be happy and content on your own dear sister on your own wain kung mag na lang you, you can actually sense calmness. Mag-isa mo na lang, you have peace of mind kahit gaano pa ang challenges sa'yo, kahit gaano pa ang, ang, ang pagsusubok, dahil you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there. He's your wali, He's your protector, He's your supporter, and kaya mo to. Because that's His promise. La yukallifullahu nafsan illa wa sa'ha. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never burden a soul more than he, they can bear. So, second, ay ang relationship mo uh, as a Muslima with your family. Okay? So, let's look at family from a broader sense. Um, for example, you have parents, okay? And you have brothers and sisters, and you also have cousins and you know, yung extended family. Yan muna ang tatalakayan natin. So kung, for example, tayo ay, ay um, part of a family, the number one obligation sa atin as Muslima is to keep ties of kinship. Haram sa atin ang mag-cut off ties of kinship. And when we say ties of kinship, yung blood relations, no? So yung nanay natin, tatay natin, they have rights and obligations upon us dapat natin silang sunurin unless it goes against uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said kailangan natin sila pa, pa, pa maganda ang pakikitungo natin sa kanila dapat maganda yung pag-usap natin sa kanila hindi tataasan natin ng boses or papakita ng masamang mukha at the end of the day those parents of yours played a role in you being alive and they took care of you nung wala ka pang isip, you know, they they made sure that you survived infancy, binigyan ka ng edukasyon, binigyan ka ng, ng life na kaya nila and nothing compares to the love a parent has for their child. So out of gratitude, out of respect for their role in your life, kahit hindi pa sila Muslim, you have to give them that respect. Kailangan ma-feel nila ang love mo sa kanila. You know, especially when they get older, sister, they get more sensitive. So, you know, a simple phone call every now and then, a simple visit every now and then, bring them their favorite food, favorite sweet. Malaki na yun sa kanila dahil yung worst thing for a parent to feel is being neglected. 
being disrespected na nawawalang kwenta sa buhay mo. Okay? So, isa sa mga obligations as a muslima, as bilang isang babaeng muslim, ay we know their rights upon us and we try our best to fulfill those rights. Of course, hindi tayo perfecto. Okay? But there are these are guidelines that we can improve, that we can work on, na inshallah mas magiging strong ang relationships natin with our ties of kinship, ang blood relations natin, and our family will be more harmonious rather than tayo ang cause ng fitna, tayo ang cause ng pag, pag um, sasama ng loob, tayo ang, ang uh, nagsasalita ng kung ano-ano na nakakabigay ng rift between ng, ng family. So, let us try to be peacemakers. Let us try, kung hindi natin kayang mag, mag play uh, an active role to make sure na, na harmonious ang ating family, the least we can do is not add fuel to fire. Just, you know, timing. Timing is everything. Sometimes yung sa ka-hyper natin na mag mag-solve ng problems, uh, basta na lang tayo papasok ng anong issue ng family. Sometimes we do more harm than good. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the wisdom to know our role within our family para yung, yung obligations nila hindi natin uh, makakalimutan, yung obligations na yung rights nila over us, and we also fulfill their rights over us. So, syempre, there will come a time parang you will be put in a situation medyo challenging uh, being in a family with different personalities, with different backgrounds. So, hindi mo may iwasan na meron talagang uh, arguments, meron talagang issues, no? Pero what you can do is first make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah guides everyone towards reconciliation. Second, do your best in whatever capacity or role you have to make peace. Any opportunity you can speak good about someone na masama ang loob ng isa against her, just, you know, just, just tell them, you know, good things about them, that they talk about them in a positive way also. Kasi that's how you bring hearts together. Hindi yung... yung just because they're in front of you, so, oh, yeah, yeah, yung mga yan, masama yan, blah, blah, blah. You have every right to be, I mean, you're not, you're not being a good person. You're, you're actually enabling this situation to, fo- to fester into a, an uglier situation. So do your best, sister, brother, to be a source of peace within your family, to do what you can in your limited capacity. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you, inshallah. So, yun ang pwede natin gawin. Within our family, bilang anak, we give respect to our mga magulang. Uh, we give them importance. Okay? For example, I know we reach adulthood uh, at one point in our life. Kung professional na tayo, hindi na, for example, we have our own family. Pero that doesn't mean makalimutan na natin ang parents natin. Consult them in major affairs that you are going through. Ma- ma- mahal- mahalaga yun sa kanila. Okay? So, those things. And give them gifts. You know, isang sheikh umiyak dahil may nagtanong ng fatwa. Sabi niya, ya sheikh, pwede ba akong bumigay ng zakat sa aking mga magulang and the sheikh cried. Sabi niya, subhanallah, kasi ang zakat, it's obligatory. You don't have a choice but to give it, no? It should purify your wealth. Pero ang parents mo, it shouldn't be an obligation for you to help them. It should come from the heart na kahit hindi sasabihin sa'yo na tulungan mo sila, you have to help them. That's why they are not eligible to accept zakat dahil you're supposed to support them. So, Yun, parang those things sometimes when we're so busy 
achieving our dreams nakakalimutan natin na at the end of the day our parents were actually there when we were small brought us up with whatever they could afford in order for us to be here in this and just a bit of gratitude goes a long way thank you dad thank you mom every now and then just hug them without saying anything malaki, malaki talaga yun sa kanila really and uh, a phone call if you're far away you no know? just ask them how they're doing so yung uh, being a brother being a sister um, i think that's that's um, that's something na medyo challenging din kasi uh, you grow up together for example I- iba yung bond niyo eh, brother and sister but once they get married they get married to people outside of the family who in turn become your family so part of loving your brother loving your sister is loving your in-laws so if for example your brother cho- chose her, his wife no that's his choice you owe it to him to respect his wife Okay, so yung isang muslima in a family, extended family, they respect one another. Kahit syempre may issues, especially if you're living in one house, pero always have that heart willing to accept people are not perfect. Have that heart willing to accept na you're also not perfect. Have that heart that's willing to solve problems, hindi yung problema and then you linger you problema you you dwell on it and you form your opinion based on that mistake or that issue so ayaw mo nang makita ang tao na yun and it hurts kasi asawa yun ng brother mo so parang kahit yung brother mo the, he feels like you're not respecting him so yung muslima marunong magbalance okay if for example my issue Hindi ka agad kinakat ang ties of kinship. Hindi ka agad sinusuplado. Hindi ka agad uh, tinu- t- sinusuway ang, ang, ang mga people outside of the family. Learn to accept na there will be differences, pero you're above those differences. You can just overlook. No? Hindi naman all the time kailangan mong iko- mag-comment. Hindi naman all the time kailangan... You correct it from your own perspective. Learn to let go. Hindi lahat ng issues kailangan gawing issue. Okay? Kasi do unto others, right? You remember the golden rule? Hindi lang sa Islam. Pero even in other faiths, it's like, kung ayaw mo na pakialaman ang private life mo, kung ayaw mo na always sinasabihan ka anong kailangan gawin, kung ayaw mo na always also consider the other person and if you've tried your best to advise properly through the proper channel pero hindi pa rin nag improve then make dua for them wag ka mag mag wag ka mag um keep sama ng loob kasi that will destroy you from inside so instead na on your own you feel peace of mind it's it's disturbed by other issues. So, yung, uh, yung third uh, role ng isang muslima is more specific when it comes to her own family. Meaning, siya ay isang wife and eventually, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills, magiging isa, isa siya sa, sa magiging ina. So, I'll speak more about this uh, because this will help even yung mga sisters natin na hindi pa married or the ones who are already married. So, kung uh, binigyan ka ng Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ng biyaya na you will get married and magiging wife ka sa isang uh, uh, husband mo, sa husband mo. So, yung first thing you need to know is you have rights over each other. Okay? So, bilang isang muslima, um, uh, ulirang muslima, for example, as the topic suggests, we need to think Okay, if I were to be an ideal wife, Muslim wife, ano yung kailangan kong gawin? And what rights does my husband have over me? And ano naman ang rights ko sa kanya? Okay, so 
that doesn't mean na you will build your entire relationship based on just rights. Kasi kung always ka nag nagko-compute, uh, listing down, oh, uh, hindi ito nabigay. Part of marriage is compassion and part of marriage is compromise and forgiveness. No, hindi lahat perfect. Remember that, please. Remember that hindi siya perfect, hindi ka perfect. So you are two imperfect souls trying to live as close to a perfect life and akhira together. Yung goal nyo is Jannah. Life is short, sister, brother. If you're a husband, life is short. Appreciate your significant other. And hindi lang, you know, I just realized na yung topic ko pala f falls on February 14. Hindi lang on, you, you know, this concept of Valentine's Day. Na you show your love on a certain day. We don't need that in Islam. Because we are supposed to show our care, we show our love, we show our appreciation to our, to our partner, to our husband, to our life, every time we, we can, in different ways. Not just through chocolates or corn, pero through acts of service. Yung uh, tingnan mo ano ang mga sacrifice na ginagawa ng husband mo. Tingnan mo ano ang limitations niya. Pero he tries his best to go over his limitations just to provide for his family and for you. Appreciate the little things he does. Kasi usually kung mawawala na ang gratefulness natin, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, the people who do not know how to thank the creation do not know how to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is from the lips of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. Kung tunay talaga strong and relationship more with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you should also be able to build a relationship with your husband based on a grateful heart. A heart of iman, willing to forgive, overlook his faults. And you know, ang relationship kasi sister, brother, it's give and take. When your, your partner sees your, your effort, okay, syempre magkakamali ka talaga. Definitely. But when they say it's easy for you to, to bounce back, apologize, avoid doing it again and again, you're trying your best to improve, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hopefully will also guide him to treat you with mercy and love. Okay? Dahil sa Quran, yan ang dalawang ingredient that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically stated between two who are married to each other. They should have love and mercy. Mahabbatan wa rahma. Love, it sustains you. Yan na yung willing to go the extra mile for one another, willing to forgive, willing to, to provide, willing to work hard to make the relationship work. Yan, love yan. Yung Kaya mong uh, to go over to go beyond ano lang ang rights yung bare minimum you know you're willing to to make him happy yung husband mo naman is willing to also see ano yung mga preferences mo and will also be understanding for your needs yan love true love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa taala yung love that Allah subhanahu wa taala is pleased with built on common goal of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and getting to Jannah together. Yung rahma naman, that will be the rahma, the mercy, that will encourage every, both of you na mag-forgive mag each other's shortcomings. Kung magkamali, um, you, you, alhamdulillah, it's okay, you know, you still encourage people. And then yung rahmah din, kung for example, down ang partner mo, you lift them up, you remind them, you know, don't worry, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not abandon you, you're good, you pray, you've done good things, you, you speak well of others, like Khadija radiallahu anh did with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, nung uh, binigay sa kanya ang first revelation and he was scared going home, akala niya na nasiraan na siya ng bait. Because it was Jibril alayhi salam 
who gave him the first revelation. He didn't know anything about the prophethood. So yung Khadija radiallahu anha was there to comfort him. He went home to an environment peaceful siya. Hindi yung stressful. Hindi yung ayoko umuwi kasi nandun na naman yung wife ko na ano na naman kaya ang complain today. Subhanallah, being a Muslim woman, balancing so many roles, no, sister, I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy. It's not. Pero, anything that's of value, may sacrifice siya. Mahalaga siya. It's, it's expensive. Jannah is not cheap. And, you know, I was just talking to my cousin a while ago. And, Rico, you know, the way we we view dunya, akhira, our marriage, our contracts, this is how we should look at it. Kung sa isang normal job, no, being employed in a job, and you work for a boss, you sign a contract, sa contract na yun, every month, ito ang sahod mo. And with that sahod, Make sure you do this, 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 this. Yun ang terms of reference or yung job responsibilities mo. And we do it to the letter or else we'll get fired, right? So we go to work early, on time, mag-log out tayo on time, and then we do what we're supposed to do according to our job description and we get our reward at the end which is ang sahod natin, monetary reward and fulfillment. That's also part of it. And that's work, and that's dunya, okay? And of course, it can be ibadah according to our intention. So look at marriage. We sign a contract, right? Our contract of marriage states na now we are bound in marriage in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have rights over each other. And one of the main rights ni husband natin have over us is we have to obey him. As long as it doesn't go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, his Rasul. So if we love Allah, we are a Muslimah who has strengthened their relationship between her and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he told us to obey our husband as part of that contract where we sign to get into marriage. Bakit mahirap gawin? So isang Muslimah that has the wisdom, that has the iman, and who has the love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the love for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, makikinig siya sa advice nila, sa, sa, sa command nila, na we have to obey our husbands. That's part of our role, being wives. And our husbands should also not abuse this, wherein they ask us to do haram, they ask us to, they, they just want to use that provision para mahirapan tayo. I mean, where is the mercy? Where is the love? So yung marriage, it's really a, a beautiful relationship where you're stronger together than you are apart. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, He created us in pairs. A man complements a woman, a woman complements a man. And if the lawang forces that come together clear ang purpose nila for the sake of Allah, clear ang, ang, ang heart nila is willing to accept na not everything will go well, not every time you're gonna be stable financially, not every time you're going to look, see eye to eye on things, but you're willing to go through the daily struggles together as much as possible then may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you that safe space within your marriage na you find that contentment, that happiness, and and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you barakah, inshallah. So, isang role of a woman, okay, isang ulirang, the, you know, our idea na gusto nating hangarin is if you become a mother, okay? And, you know, subhanallah, when you become a mother, you become a means of someone entering Jannah. Your children will actually be able to enter Jannah through you. Being a wife, 
you can enter Jannah through your husband. Bakit anong sabi ng Allah, ng Prophet Muhammad SAW? Sabi niya, kung ang isang babae ay mamamatay at ang husband niya is happy with her or pleased with her, maaari siyang pumasok ng Jannah kahit anong gate. Kahit anong gate ng Jannah. There are eight. Okay, Bab, may mga different doors kasi ang Jannah. May, ba, may doors for those who, who fast, may, may doors uh, for those who are martyrs, may doors for those who, who are known to give sadaka, those things. So you can choose from any of the eight doors. And if you look at this hadith, sister, subhanallah, Jannah is not cheap. To get there, you have to do so many things. Say no to haram. Uh, do as many good deeds, hoping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept them and only through His mercy, pada tayong pumasok ng Jannah. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa presents us with this way to Jannah from any door. Just please your husband. And of course he said, and he she prays her her daily prayers and protects his um, home when he's not away but at the end if meaning if he is pleased with her he can go through any door of so we have to take care of this ni'ma okay and that also doesn't mean kaya uh, dapat naman gawin tayong hostage ng husband oh do you want to get into jannah oh gawin mo to i mean we don't have to do that you know ang babae Subhanallah, simple lang. You appreciate her, you show her kindness, and you will get so much from her. Appreciate her. Wag mo siyang insultuhin, wag mo siyang babababain. You don't have to exert force. Because really, a woman, one of her traits, kaya niyang mag-sacrifice. That, that's why, nanay siya. Okay, now let's go to a woman being a nanay, being a mother. That's another a role na na importanteng role bilang isang muslima so being a, a if we want to be an ulirang muslima and we we Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the blessing of being a mother binigyan tayo ng anak isa dalawa tatlo sampu 12 however many uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us with then with it comes yung amana yung yung trust yung obligation to fulfill that trust na bigyan natin ng halaga ang blessing na ito. Ang mga bata, sila ang future generation, dapat yung pag pagtarbiya natin, ang pag-alaga natin, dapat guided by the Quran and Sunnah. Dapat hindi lang yung hangad natin magiging nurse sila, doktor, professional, magiging uh, successful sila sa dunya, Dapat from the very beginning, nakikita nila na sa atin na ang gusto natin ay balance sila. Alam nila kung ano ang obligation nila bilang ilang isang Muslim dito sa dunya at dapat strong ang foundation nila sa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, bilang isang nanay, dapat alam natin ano ang rights ng children over us. Isa sa kanila is we have to name them properly. Okay? Dapat maganda ang pangalan nila dahil they will become their name. And second, dapat yung, yung uh, we teach them, we guide them according to the Quran and Sunnah. Third, they deserve good, kind treatment from us. Hindi just because anak sila. Okay? Hindi dahil just because anak natin sila, we can treat them unkind unjustly, you know, we abuse our authority. You know, ang mangyayari, when we become old, walang attachment nila sa atin. They will forget us. They'll pangit yung memory nila, pangit yung experience nila with you. Always nagagalit, always pointing out their mistakes, always saying you're disappointed with them, they don't do anything right. So imagine bringing up a child with that mentality, what kind of adult will they turn out to be? They will not be confident. They will not assert themselves in the workplace. They will not be able to get past that that insecurity that you've uh, inculcated in them. 
So part of being a mother, being a Muslim mother, is bringing up your children with the right akhlaq. Yung character nila, yung, yung outlook nila towards life dapat guided by the Quran and Sunnah. So even kindness to animals dapat ma- from the very beginning my mercy ang heart nila towards creation ng Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hindi lang tao kahit animal mismo you have to start from when they're little kasi kung ma kung hindi nila ma-inculcate yun when they're smaller when they're big baka it would be easy for them to be unjust to other people to be cruel to animals and it starts with animals and it maybe even their own husband or wife they are cruel towards them and third be careful what you say be careful what you you speak kasi ang mga anak natin i always tell my students this parang cctv camera yan sila you are their ulirang tao alam mo yun parang the way they see you you're the bigger version of who they want to be. So, don't become a person that they wish they are not. Mas maganda yung, yung, napapak, yung, yung nakikita nila is, I have a mother I am proud of. I have a father I want to be like. Dapat yung ipakita natin is a parent or magiging nanay tayo sa kanila na they wish they would also be like us. It's a tall order, of course. Pero yung, yung tayo kasi, tulad ng Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, he modeled good behavior. He modeled how it was to be a, a practicing Muslim. Siya ang ating gabay. So these children, dito sa atin, lalaki. So dapat yung makita nila, they're exposed to good things. They're exposed to Iman. They're exposed to Islam. And kahit may problema, they should know na masasolve din yan. Wag, wag natin i, i pakita sa mga bata na it's hopeless, negative. Uh, sa face mo palang makikita nila, it's the end of the world. Dapat yung, yung tarbiya natin, holistic. Hindi lang sa education that we expose them to. Hindi lang sa akhlak or character na, na pinapakita natin sa kanila kundi pati yung emotional state nila, mental health nila, dapat inaalagaan natin. Dahil at the end of the day, tayo ang responsible kung anong klaseng adult ang ibibigay natin back to society. They, we are partners in developing the, the next generation. So let's take care of that amana. Yes, it can be a bit parang Kaya ko ba to? You know, sometimes as mothers, no, we ask ourselves, am I doing it right? Uh, am I failing my child? Sometimes we also ask ourselves, pero the only thing we need to do is do our best. Read up, research, try our best. Really, sister. Walang mawawala sa atin. And make dua. Dahil ang dua ng isang nanay, ng isang tatay, is mustajab for our children. So if we want our children to be good adults, Make dua for them. Ya Allah, make them, uh, love them. Make them from your most beloved slaves. Ya Allah, make their hearts attached to you, attached to your knowledge. Ya Allah, make it easy for them to worship you. Include them in your dua. That's one thing we can do as Muslim women in this role as mothers. So finally, talking about our contribution to society, yung last is yung role of women, ang isang ulirang muslima, yung role niya sa society. So one of our roles, again, is uh, being able to take care of the next generation. Yung uh, children natin would be productive citizens that are able to contribute positively. No? Yung second way we can contribute is yung offering our service. So if, for example, tayo ay um, uh, isang Muslima na may special skills, uh, we studied, for example, uh, medicine, so we can give back to the community in that specialized um, profession. 
uh, kung ang uh, specialty natin is management or business, then we give back to society. How? Hindi lang through our zakah. Dahil if we earn a certain amount, then we can help those in need through our zakah. Pero yung time natin mismo, we volunteer, we offer our service to um, organizations, for example, that do good work. Dahil this helps us get grounded kasi sis. And brothers, kung ang babae active sa society, uh, they are able to to give back and somehow take care of a portion of society na parang naniniglet or they need help to stand. Uh, kailangan nila ng uh, direction or kailangan nila ng support to get out of the cycle of violence or cycle of poverty or or cycle of uh, being behind in development, then that is one thing that a Muslima can fulfill as long as she she also considers her entire uh, situation. For example, mahirap naman if the woman is always outside taking care of other people tapos nakakalimutan niya na ang anak niya, nakakalimutan niya na ang husband niya kasi that will always be your priority in terms of rights over you. Pero if you 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 can you are able to balance you give back to community teaching serving inspiring and organizing no then do that sister because for you to to make a positive change even in just one person's life malaki na yun malaki na yun you don't know to what extent that piece of inspiration, that piece of advice that you gave, that time you spent with people on the ground, hindi mo alam to what extent that can change their life. And although that's not your mission, that's not your intention, pero Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts baraka in your time for you to actually multiply your rewards without you knowing. Without you knowing. So it might be that on the day of judgment, a pile of good deeds you will see, and you don't even know where it came from, but it was from a good that you extended, that piece of advice, that, that small act of kindness that you gave, na nag-multiply, because you did it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Muslima in the role of contributing to society, ang isang ulirang Muslima is everything she does is calculated. Calculated in a sense of not what do I get from this, but calculated that I am doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with you. And it ends there. You don't do good to someone so they can repay you. No. You do good to someone because you want to do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, siya ang mag-reward sa'yo. So hindi to business transaction. Kasi kung gagawa ka sa isang tao ng mabuti because one day, alam ko, may utang na loob na to sa akin. I can collect when I need it. So that's an investment, isn't it? That's a business transaction. It's not helping someone out. It's just a loan of some sort. Na magko-collect ka naman mame. Baka may interest pa, which is haram, right? So kung, for example, magtutulong ka sa kapwa mong uh, tao, Muslim ba or hindi, make sure ang intention mo, it's not to get something out from them. It's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And hindi mo pa nga alam kung i-accept ba ng Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most you can do is hope kasi yun ang dapat nasa heart mo. That you're doing it for Allah. Ya Allah, please accept this from me. Please ac accept this from me. So, Kung ganito ang mindset ng isang muslima, hindi ang tingin niya sa mga tao na naghihirap as savior siya. No, actually those people are helping you. Those people are helping you get rewards for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on you. So they need you as much as you need them. So hindi siya yung, oh, here I am with my... I'll save you, okay, you have to praise me. Hindi ganun. 
kung ganun lang ang contribution mo sa society to make a name for yourself, I think mas mabuti sa bahay ka na lang. Kasi it would do more harm sa iman mo. Baka papasok yung yung um, yung uh, minor shirk, yung yung boastfulness, yung arrogance sa heart mo. And and it's better hindi hin, it's better for you not to just go outside kung ikakasira sa iyo. Being a good Muslima, a good person at that, dapat whatever you do will contribute to goodness. Dahil the Quran says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, is there reward for good other than good? Hal jazaul ihsan illa al-ihsan? Is there reward for good other than good? Meaning if you want good, to happen to you if you want good to multiply then it starts with you are your intention hindi dahil it's good for you selfish reasons no you always go back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dahil anything done for his sake walang loss you all you have everything to gain you have selflessness to gain Forgiveness, hopefully, if he accepts, your sins will be forgiven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept you into Jannah and will have mercy on you. So, never sell your, your soul for something less than Jannah. Dahil ang Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran that he has purchased Ito ang transaction natin, dear sisters, dear brothers, hindi towards each other. Ang utang na loob, it's not towards one another. Ang utang na loob is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purchased our souls, the believers, in exchange for Jannah. So, dapat we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ang heart natin remembers ang Ni'ma, ang blessing na out of everyone, He guided us. We value that. So, bilang isang muslima, in all our different roles, we always go back to that. Ano ang purpose natin? Sino ang Allah natin? Uh, how do we be a, a, an ideal muslima in our role? Whether how we are with our creator on our own, with our family, with our husband, with as a mother and in society and whatever role just remember one thing always intend to do good not harm always intend to do good not harm that's the only way now you can give people their rights and you will be patient when you don't get what's rightfully yours because you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just Sooner or later, if not in dunya, in akhirah, you will get whatever is rightfully yours. So, I hope, inshallah, ang, ang topic natin, um, um, it's something na lahat tayo ay makaka-relate. Dahil lahat tayo is either uh, a person on our own, a person in a family, a person with a, in a marriage, a person of a society. So hopefully, bigyan natin ng halaga na bawat role natin ay productive tayo. Bawat role natin, we we do right by it. Lahat ng role natin, alamin natin muna. Knowledge is power. Knowledge and action, it's power. Alamin natin muna ano ang kailangan natin gawin as per the, the Quran and Sunnah, and we do it. So only then will we truly succeed, not just in dunya, but more importantly in akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst whom he brands as the successful ones. And may he reunite us in the best place in Jannah to Firdaus. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumallahu khairan, brothers and sisters, for tuning in. Um, kung may nasabi ako na hindi tama, that's from my own weakness and from my own mistake. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me. 
uh, wag nyo kunin. And if may natutunan kayo ng kahit konting kaalaman, that is from the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from you and from me. Allahumma amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. We hope to see you uh, on Sunday, inshallah, my, my, um, my uh, next in next lecture po is my kadayang mayra apyon and inshallah uh, it will be the third of the series for this month for new muslim academy um, i hope my time po kayo to tune in and we hope to see you online inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh